One variant of this is what's called the simple running locking suture. Sometimes you are closing a wound quickly, and an example would be maybe a big scalp wound where it's bleeding and you just need to get it closed. And it's hard because it's gaping open a little bit as you start to tie and tie your suture, it's not staying in place. Sometimes you can have an assistant hold that for you, but when you're by yourself especially, what you can do is you can lock the stitch each time. And what I mean by that is you take your simple bite, and now before you pull it completely through, you take the needle and you pass it through the loop. So now it's like a little pulley closed down and it locks it down. And then you go ahead and take your net stitch and make sure it comes back through the loop. And so what you see here is that you can have a pretty long suture line and not worry about it untying behind you as you go. Again, probably adds more suture to the skin, therefore it's not as good necessarily for cosmesis, but certainly for something like bleeding, uh, like in a scalp wound or a wound where you're just trying to get something closed quickly, works perfectly. And I always end uh, these types of running sutures just by grabbing the loop and then doing your instrument tie once again. Again, two times around we'll lock it. If you're having problems with it locking, you can even wrap it three times around the needle driver and that really holds it in place. Only one time around for each subsequent.